Hey guys, welcome back to NFTGG. And today we're taking a look at an AI project on Solana backed by or launched through Seedify, which is a launchpad platform and has its own token. But all that aside, let's take a look at what these guys are doing. Very interesting project. I think this one could be a, a big one going into the AI and gaming bull run because we haven't really seen that huge push yet. I got into crypto late in the last bull run, but what I did put my eggs into my basket was into gaming and I caught the gaming bull run because it didn't start yet. And I feel like AI is going to have its time in this season where it's going to be just extraordinary. And this could be one of the ones launched that goes to the hundreds of millions. And I'll tell you why during this video. Let's take a look at it first. It's called Matrix One. They're going to be building AI models, characters in a marketplace, okay? Their vision is to democratize the creation, ownership, and utilization of AI-powered characters. Cool. So some examples of what they're going to be able to do. Matrix One Protocol, Character Studio, create and modify characters easily. That's great. Make avatars, model index, character marketplace. So you can buy assets. Now, why is this such a good thing? Because a lot of AI projects on the blockchain right now are trying to sell like AI NFTs or AI bot, which can be like replicated and not really used for much of a purpose other than maybe one activity. But what these guys are doing are building a marketplace and characters and design studio where you're putting the power and the creativity into the people who are actually using it, which is really cool. For example, if you ever designed a game with Unity, you know that one of the benefits of using it is the marketplace of like downloading assets. Like that's where the money is for a lot of stuff. So if you can be the provider of assets in this new crypto space where like, say for example, you have an idea you want to launch your own coin, uh, that's going to be based around a chatbot, but you don't have any models. You can just go to their marketplace, buy the voice, the character, the model, change, tweak, add your own customization. And it's like drop shipping an AI character, which is such a cool idea. I really like what these guys are doing. They have the use cases here, AI companions, and holy crap. If you have been looking around online right now, people are paying thousands of dollars to talk to NPCs, like literally characters like this, that, you know, lonely guys, lonely girls on the internet that just don't get enough human interaction, but they, they'll settle for NPC. So they'll have a, a partner, a girlfriend, who they'll send money to the people powering the AI to interact with it. It's insane. I mean, it's like, it, it's been coming a while. If you've seen that movie, Her, with Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson voicing it, it we're turning into that culture, just straight up. So AI companions, game NPCs, which is going to be huge. Imagine if this is a gaming NPC marketplace for Web3. Like that's going to be a huge like power move from this company. Uh, education, customer service. I mean, call centers and, you know, crappy chatbots in the future are going to be a thing of the past once we nail AI and interacting with stuff like this and Web3 agents. Okay, they have investors, Animoca Brands, huge. I know a couple of these other ones by name, but definitely Animoca stands out as like one of the biggest uh, Web3 investors. Frequently asked questions. What is Matrix One? We just covered it. AI decentralization protocol for AI characters and marketplace. Depending on when I upload this, but yeah, you can go check out the price of it literally whenever this goes uh, live. So that's cool. So they do have a white paper. You can see here, they're doing launches of their coin program. If you want to know a lot more about what these guys are doing, I highly recommend taking a look at their docs. As soon as you click onto the website, click the docs, it'll bring you to this. Uh, you get access to their Twitter, formerly X or whatever, or X formerly Twitter. Um, they have a, a breakdown of how everything works here. So a lot, I'm not going to cover it all in this um, video because this is just an overview. It's something I found, Cedify are launching it. I'm going to be covering a lot of the Cedify projects because I feel like they do the best due diligence on the Web3 uh, platforms right now, like actually making sure projects keep their word and put work into the projects as opposed to like all these crappy rug pulls on so many different chains right now. But these ones are a lot more, well, more due diligent, I would say. But this is not financial advice, guys. Uh, this is me just covering something I find interesting, but they are solving problems. High barrier to entry for 3D animated characters creation, which is true. Limited memory, interactivity, and personalization. They're just trying to cover a lot of bases. Like, I feel like these are people that tried to do stuff in the past. They're trying to make it easier. They're trying to make the barrier to entry for a lot of this new technology accessible and make it Web3, which is nice. Combination of two different technologies at the same time can benefit, can get a lot of rewards. Also, if you check here, they have a rewards program. Connect your email, X, Discord, blah, blah, blah. You can just 
literally start collecting rewards for the NEO token right now. So I think the way it works is you collect these tokens and then you get airdrop matrix tokens in the future. Now, I'm not sure about that. That's just uh, me skimming through this, okay? But take a look and do it yourself if you're very interested. But I'm not gonna go into too much more detail, guys. They have an X, it's interactive. I'll just show you before I go, this is some of the footage of what they're gonna be doing. Hey there, great to meet you. I'm Sam. I could teach you a language, we can go shopping, digital versions of AI bots with the voice of like famous people. So this one's using Scarlett Johansson. It sounds like from the movie, Her. Now, I don't know. I think Scarlett was not happy with her voice being used by uh, OpenAI in the past. I think she threatened to sue him, uh, sue, the, sue the company. And she won. She sued Disney and she won, which is extremely rare. So uh, maybe the voices being powered by like famous people might not be around forever, but it's, it's involved in this for now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much what they're doing. That's only one example. I mean, they could probably power AI to any 3D like character object or even NFT in the future. And we're really looking at this as a market play. Like if these guys are the ones powering AI characters throughout the Web3 gaming industry, um, just like Altora, if you know Altora launched three years ago, they're gonna be like, they built dynamic NFTs. So like imagine if you're playing a game and you upgrade a sword, it will literally change the NFTs structure to suit the game and fit. It's like building infrastructure and selling the infrastructure for different industries is actually where the real money can be at. So this is a power play. I think it might be one of the projects that do that. So with all that said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you thought it was entertaining and educational, but remember, do your own research, not financial advice. I'm just talking about something I found cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.